You've seen the movies, a plane is stricken, the pilots have been taken unwell, and a passenger raises their hand, says, I can fly, and air traffic control took them down, and everyone is a hero. But what happens if the tables are turned, and the only person up there is a dumb pilot, and he has to land all the planes himself? All we need is a very sophisticated 360 degree simulator, and a dumb pilot to replicate this scenario. actually inside the 360 degree simulator here at Brisbane Centre. This is Stefan. Nice to meet you, Stefan. Likewise. So Stefan, Steph, we're going to need code names or something. It's going to get confusing. Maverick Goose for the rest of this video. But Stefan, in all seriousness, he's one of the air traffic controllers down here in Brisbane. He's going to be basically running the simulator session, hopefully putting me through my paces to see whether I can do what he's been trained for many, many years to, to actually do for a living. What happens in this simulator here? What kind of training do you do down here? Well, this one's set up for the new runways which we're building, just so current staff can get ready for the parallel runway procedures, which are coming into place next year. And also we do compromise separation, so aircraft have issues. Mm. You know, we train the controllers how to react. So now I'm just watching this thing in the background. Is this a taste of what's to come? No, I don't know. Oh, okay, well, just ignore what's happening in the background. What are we going to be expecting today? So we're going to put you in the tower seat. So we're going to deal with departures, choose your departure gaps, when to go, sort of judge how much room you've got, if you can get one away. And obviously arrivals, just processing them. Looking at what's going on in the background, we might have a- Yeah, something's on fire over well. there as well. All right, well, let's, let's get into it then. these simulators, the planes themselves, they're not computer controlled, they're actually controlled by real humans. This is Warwick, he's going to be controlling some of the aircraft that will be coming in, which I'm going to be trying to get safely into the airport in a second. What aircraft are you controlling at the moment? At the moment there's a uh, Skytrans Dash 8 just touching down on runway 01 left and you can see there's a QJet 717 about a mile out on runway zero one right. And you're gonna be kind to me, right? You're not gonna give me any, like all the planes are gonna come in blue sky day, no it's, challenges? It's, it's always gonna be easy up in Brisbane. <laughs> Behind him, Q, no, that's Q-Link. Q-Link 539, 539 Delta. 539 Delta is waiting. A, a rough strip, now he's coming in. Oh, he's coming in as well. But you have a gap there between Jetstar and Q-Link. So I can take someone off between these two aircraft. So as he's coming so in, so he's on downwind, is he? That he's coming around? No, he's, he's joining final. Oh, he's joining final. All right. Yeah, but he's going pretty quick. He is, and he's, so he's off closed, the center line. He's closing that gap up. Yeah. So what we can do is we can do a conditional. Here's your... Um, All right. This is me talking to That's well, it. So you can get a, a conditional clearance. Jetstar 15 behind the landing aircraft, uh, runway 01 right, line up and wait. Behind the landing aircraft, uh, line up this. and wait, Jetstar 815. Uh, Jack off, Victor, we're holding short at Alpha 7. So he has to wait. Yep. Sierra right. Golf, Victor, hold position. Sierra Golf, Victor, hold position. So, so now the Jetstar's lined up. Yep, you watch. Final, as soon as this jet star has vacated, okay. he gets moved to the um, service movement controller. All right, so he's just taxiing off. So he's off now. We'll move this strip out of the way. We've just got the jet star on the runway. You've got an aircraft approaching five miles. So I need to get the jet star away. So he was jet star one five. Yep. Clear for takeoff, zero one right. Yep, that's it. Jet star zero one five, cleared for takeoff, runway zero one right. Take off from my zero one roll. Right. Jet stars rolling now. I'm talking it through so I can just work uh, out exactly get my kind of picture. So now he's I don't know whether you can see this, but he's taken off over there. But now we've got the Qantas aircraft coming in, but he's not cleared. You can clear him to so land. So we can clear him to land. If you look at this screen and we just move strips because it's Qantas five ten. Qantas five ten. Okay. So we need to the wind. Oh, where do we get the wind? <laughs> Quickly, go uh, um, what was he against? He's Qantas 5, 10. 10. Uh, Qantas 5, 10, wind 010, 2 knots, runway 
zero one right clear to land. Probably zero one right uh, to land. Uh, five ten. Five ten. Velocity one fourteen. Uh, runway zero one right. Line up. Line up runway zero one right. Velocity one fourteen. I'm not doing this bit. I'm not moving the strips around. So he is now here. Meantime, are you looking then at this screen here to see who's coming in? That's it. We'll use that to know who's next. That's QJ. He Steve was 343. 343. Tigos 343, Brisbane Tear. What's, what's his call sign? Tigos. Tigos. Uh, ho, no, is he whole position? Tigos 343, Brisbane Tower. Oh, Tigos 343, Brisbane Tower. Oh, so we're just acknowledging yep. that he's there. He's off yep. your runway. Yep. All right, so now one Virgin 114 yep. or Velocity. Velocity 114, uh, runway right cleared for takeoff. Zero one right. Zero one right. Zero one right. Zero one right. <laughs> Sorry, Velocity. He's all right, he knows what he's doing. Runway's clear now, so next thing is I've got three aircraft now that are lined yep. up, and waiting. We've got one just approaching four, so we'll do Tigos 343, line up, be ready immediately. Okay. Tigos 343, line up, be ready immediate. Immediate, for, for immediate, be ready for immediate departure. On the front, we to zero one. We'll see how this works out. So now I've got one here who's just lining up, and I've got one here on final and so he to has to get out now. quickly i need to clear him to come in and he was 114 no he's down here 343 t guys 343 cleared for immediate takeoff qjet 1544 clear to land uh i missed that last call sign that was velocity 319 is ready velocity 319 Brisbane Tower. But now I can't line him up yet because we uh, wouldn't get him in before. You're just landing and you've got on final, we have Philippines. Philippines 222, clear to land, uh, zero, uh, runway zero one right, wind, wind zero one zero two knots. Oh, he's still waiting to yeah, go. He's, he's I've forgotten his call sign. Damn it, there's not much space now between these two. Cross runway, zero one right, behind. He's going across the runway, then the Qantas, no, Velocity flight is lining up, and the Philippines Airlines flight has just landed here. Brisbane Tower, QNK 740 Delta is ready at runway zero one left. That's that one. Yeah. Okay. There's another runway. I think I might, one runway might be enough for me at the moment. I'm still struggling with that. I'm just gonna yeah, forget one, the other runway. Gonna run the They're gonna, the there is another runway over here, which um, the guys here were actually gonna see if we can do both runways. We've decided not. Seriously hard enough, just looking after one runway. Yeah, I'm sweating. Around. Yeah, all I'm the sweating. All yeah. the screens around here doesn't help. I think that's the stress. I don't think it's the screens. Velocity 319, runway right, clear for takeoff. Right, right. Uh, zero one right. Zero one right. And Emirates uh, 3X X ray Echo Super. Runway zero one right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway zero one right. You can see the happiness has gone from my voice now. So next air, next aircraft. So Intas zero one, we're clear to land. Intas zero one. So he's the same runway. Yep. Intas zero one, uh, runway zero one right, clear to land. Wind zero one zero one knot. Clear to land, runway zero one right. Intas zero one. Move our strip. Put him on the runway. Okay. And then next up, so whilst he's coming in, next these up are, will be. These are both cool. Uh, this one's cool ready. Velocity one seventy five. One seventy five. Velocity 175 behind the landing aircraft, runway 01 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait behind the landing aircraft, velocity 175. Cool. So we move to right. the strip. Oh, so yeah, move his strip across. Test. So he's. Oh! oh. Okay. Mayday, Mayday, Intas 01, Intas 01, Intas 01, engine fire. That's what we're going to Alright. Jeez, all right, so he, so you've just hit the crash alarm. Yep, yep. we've cancelled Velocity 175 lineup. Uh, yeah, uh, Velocity 175, cancel lineup. Cancel lineup, Velocity 175. And do we attendance. need to call the we fire? We've got our checklist, work through. He's obviously going to be busy now. So okay. the fire services are already 
They already yeah. know because you've hit the crash alarm. That's it. So he's stopping on the runway. Do we need to talk to him? So we can Check say... he's all right. Fire tenders enter runway 01 right. So the whole thing shut down. So no one can come in on any runway at this point? No. Jeez, it happens fast. That's pretty much the end of our exercise, I think. I know I kept getting the runway wrong, I kept calling it zero one, but little things like that matter, don't they? Well, it's zero one right is sort of our sort of new terminology, so that's we can forgive that one. You know, so they just <laughs> come in, we don't have a left, but they're getting the pilots ready for right. Moving the strips all the time, you've got to constantly, that's one thing is when we're uh, checking people upstairs, we watch the strip movements. Mm. You know, you always got to look at who's on your runway now, you know, and why isn't that strip there? Why can he be clear to take off when it still says there's an airplane there? Yeah. So what's happening here has got to match what's happening out the window. It's just training, concentrating. That's what we have the college, so you know they teach these skills. Um, the skills they test for to start with, so you're going to have them within yourself, and they, so so you bring them out. Also, if you've flown around Australia long enough, you might recognise Stefan's voice because you haven't just worked here at Brisbane. No, I did six years in Moorabbin when I did my conversion or course from the UK. So I'm more than used to lots of light aircraft, Moorabbin being quite busy, and. So yeah, you might recognise my voice, lots of flying schools there, which <laughs> help me judge gaps, but um, not the same sort of gaps, obviously. Very different style of air traffic control? Well, that's it. Moravian's very reactive. Mm. You know, um, Brisbane is set on it, we can see what approach is doing their job, so we know what's coming towards us, but Moravian, they can come at any time. What made you want to get into air traffic control in the first place, then? Me, personally, it was um, my sister at the time was seeing someone who was a controller, and I was at a loss what <laughs> okay. I wanted to do. I backpacked. So I went and spent time with him in the UK at, um, at Stansted Airport and thought this is a great job, Look, you're looking out the window. Like most people when they're young, wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do and thought I'll give this a go and here I am. And any tips then, any tips for aspiring air traffic controllers out there? I know I get a lot of you know, younger potential pilots and potential ATCs, people who might just want to get into the aviation industry. Do you love your job? I, I it? love it, yeah, it's, it's never the same. You, you do get the routine days and things, but you've always got to be one step ahead just in case you know things don't go to plan. Mm. I love the change, I love not taking the work home. Do you still get excited going to airports when you work in air traffic control, or are you just over it? Or do you still love the planes? No, I am, as they say, like one of the aviation nerds. I like looking at the aircraft. I love it when something unusual comes in. Mm. And this year I'm going to Avalon Air Show again, so a group of us can go down there to control for the air show. If you're at Avalon, you see Stefan, make sure you say hello. Thanks for your time. No problem. Thanks for training me, and sorry if I broke anything. So I'm down here with Russ now. Russ is the simulations manager. I'm laughing because I'm terrible at job titles. I'm so sorry. There's so many acronyms and everything in aviation. Once our initios are finished down in Melbourne, they come up here, get sent up here to Brisbane, and they um, get put onto a sector. But before they talk to live traffic, they come in here and uh, we train them on simulated traffic for about uh, six weeks. So there's some actual training yeah, here training at the moment. Yeah, we've got training going so on right now. What are they now? working on now? They're working on our new uh, voice switching system, which is being um, introduced to uh, the operational uh, room at the end of next month. So all our current controllers who are using the old system are now in the sim doing their, uh, I guess, their, uh, their workbooks and their uh, training to be ready to go for the end of the month. Now I have spoken about this on the channel before because I know a lot of you watching are often very interested in a career in air traffic control yeah. as well and a career with air services. Now if someone is watching this and they're thinking, right, that's it, that's definitely what I want to do for, for a career, what's the kind of path, what would you say is, is kind of a good starting point for them? Look, a, a really good uh, starting point is to uh, get onto our website and, and just have a look at uh, what's available. We have coming up uh, next month, a, uh, we're going to be doing a new intake for ab initios, uh, basically someone that's come in off the street to air services and will be trained as a air traffic controller. The training takes approximately 18 months. That's all conducted down in our initial sim in, uh, in Melbourne and then uh, staff are then put out to the field around Australia and um, 
then you'll get sent to somewhere like us here in Brisbane and you for further training. And you might end up down here in this in this very room. We do do testing, so f for anyone that's that's interested, we do have a, a set of tests that you can do online, and that will basically let you know whether you have the aptitude to do the job or not. You do need to have some mathematical skills. You don't need to be a professor in maths, but you, <laughs> you do need to have some basic uh, math skills. So it's quite basic maths, but you need to be, you know, proficient at that. So I'll link down below. If you look in the description, there's a couple of links down there to the Air Services website itself, but also the career section, which has got more information, as you were yeah. saying, Russ. So definitely give that a go. If it's something that you've always wanted to do, have a go at those assessments. Check out the links down below. Um, and I'm going to keep wandering around here. Thanks, Russ. Yes. Thanks right. for your time. No worries. Thank you. Thank you.